All right. Good afternoon. I'll let everybody kind of get in. I'm going to do the elephant again. Use watercolor. We're using the book by Megan Wells as an inspiration. And here's our kind of finished color palette. It's lavender, purple, green, coral with a teal background. I'm going to stay sort of close to those colors. I am going to set this sort of off to the side where I can see it. I have my 140-pound uh, watercolor. And I am going to use up some more of the whole binds that I put on the metallic tray. Since I'm using a mixture of colors, this is just another good chance to use up some of these and get rid of them. Hi, Judy. Hi, Kat. So let me set this sort of to the side. I'm also going to use a little bit of my regular palette, which is um, M. Graham's, Daniel Smith, and a few Holbein's. I know I want to start with adding some wax resist with crayon. Hi, Joy. So I'm going to take a white. I'm going to sort of take some of the, the ideas from the Fast and Fun watercolor book that we've used in the past which is a great watercolor book, um, has a lot of projects in it by Gina Lee Kim, this one here. And one of the, the techniques is to use a crayon as a resist for some of your highlights and stuff before you use your watercolor. So I'm gonna come in and add some areas of white and they should sort of stay white. They're not going to show up now, but there's a wax resist. And it should help it. Now she's got some marks in the background too. Not sure I want to. She's got some white and some green in her turquoise background. Hi, Vicki. Hi, Mindy. Hi, Linda. I'm not sure I want to go there. And like I said, I put ink tints already on there over my sketch. And I'm just going to let, I don't think I want to put the white crayon in the, out, the background. All right. And I'm going to start with, I'm just going to use a number 12 round. And I'm going to start with leaf green, which is a whole bind color. and kind of activate some of that ink tints.
this glass of water a little closer. Gonna blend that out. Now, I could have done Lena's trick, which is to spray and let the spray do the trick. But a lot of these I put in um, specific areas just to start. And the ink tints are permanent when dry. And I varied my uh, purples and to get a little bit of a variety. I'm going to take some of that back out. I just want to start light. I'm going to turn this real quick. Okay, I think that's a decent start there. Now I did stick to her color palette, just not the acrylic.
I'm going to turn this again real quick. sure that this all kind of dissolves. Okay, so I think that's a pretty good base. So I'm going to come in with some darker olive greens. some turquoise and darker blue. some green it's kind of over here All right, and then I'm going to go with a vermilion color. Squirt that and kind of let those blend. Mm -hmm. 
And you can see where the crayon's at because it's kind of pulling back. Oh, thanks, Kat. Um, I like it. I like the um, the weight of it. I did think it was a little hard to get it to move at times yesterday. She's talking about the Naria paper. Um, I definitely would reorder it. Um, I do like the rolls, the size, and the size is a much better deal than what you were talking about, the pick whatever it was paper. That is much smaller per roll. So I definitely... I like that choice. I think I'm going to go with the pinker color and then work down to the purple and add some of the vermilion in there. But kind of do its thing. It's a little thinner than the craft plastic. Um, I think the craft plastic might have been a little easier to remove color. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you. 
didn't get my phone out. I should have. Hi, Eileen. Okay, let's. Oh, turn that off. that do its thing. Yeah, I'm trying to stick with the colors that are in the book. For the most part. Let's go back to the vermilion.
But that kind of blend. Okay, like I said, I think I'm for the most part happy. I think it needs a little. Um, yellow in some places. So I'm going in some of that azo yellow. Hey, Donna, how are you? How are you? Okay, so I'm going to set the watercolor. Well, actually, I need to do the background real quick. I'm going to just do a turquoise background. So I'm going to start out with cobalt teal. Okay, and then I'm going to go to Holbein's Marine Blue.
I'm gonna let that kind of land. kind of a blotchy area. I do the same thing over here. Let it kind of blend. Keep it darker. Kind of around the elephant. Just kind of keep the background a little simple. And I'm not worried about those spots in those areas. Because now what we're going to do is put the watercolor away. Hi, Button. And I'm going to get out. Well, first I think I should add some shimmer in some places with my watercolors in a few here and there spots. On, and then let's get some purple shimmer. Okay. And let's get some green. This won't show up on the camera very much, but I just want some areas that have some shimmer with that blue and that green kind of mix there. Let's see if we can find. There's a red color. Then I'm going to add some pink. So 
a mulberry kind of color. Some shimmer here and there. All right, now you're going to have a yellow. So like I said, that won't show up on camera. But that will put some shimmer here and there on it everywhere. Thanks, button. All right, I'm going to let that dry up just a little bit, and then I'm going to pick out some magicals. And we're going to add some magicals in some areas. Uh, Mindy and I were, well, we were talking last night at Bess about doing a zebra soon. So Mindy had. A really cute calendar page that she sent me a picture of. Let me find it. Sorry. Wrong email. So there's wearing flowers or she and glasses which I thought was really cute as an inspiration and then but I didn't think it was um, necessarily what I wanted to use as a reference photo so this was another inspiration that I found that was kind of neat but what I'm going to do is come in and I found several photographs that I can make a sketch and then people could add sunglasses and their touches. So I'm going to take one of the zebras. I may do two sketches. I'm leaning towards, I like a three quarter where you see both eyes. So I'm thinking this one right here. And I would do a sketch and put it on best group and Twitter. And then people could interpret it and do it however they want. I'm probably going to collage the stripes with jelly printed papers. You could do it in watercolor. You could do it in acrylic. You can do it in crazy colors. It doesn't have to be black and white. Okay, Vicki, that sounds fun. All right. Let's pick out some colors. Because we are going to Pretend this elephant went in the color run. Okay. Peony Scarlet and Ramblin' Rose are going to be my pinks. And then there's this sweet, this is a purple and a teal. And cement green for the green. And then the Tainted Teal Love, I think, or the type. I think it's the Tainted Teal Love. 
and maybe even a little of this azure sea. Because what I want her to do is I want her to look like she's been in one of the runs in India where they throw the colored powder. So I'm going to start with the blue and the greens to start with. And I'm going to focus mostly on that forehead with those. Okay, the tainted teal, the cement green. Uh, now let's give that a spray. some areas I don't really want it in as much. Right, then I'm going to use the gun, the heat gun. She might, she didn't feel good, so Judy might, I mean, uh, Lori might be lurking, but I know she didn't feel good. I don't think Shauna feels good. She never answered me back, which is not like her. Okay, this is a sweet violet teal, the Ramblin' Rose, and the Peony. Okay, this brush is damp, so I want to. All right, I'm going to start off with some of the peony. Oh, this, this brush is too wet. I got to use a different brush. Just a second, let me get it. Different brush and a new nap. Thank you. 
All right, then I'm going to go with the Moors. Red color. All right, then I'm going to go with the, this teal with the purple. Now this can be a good transition too, because it's And I think I'm even going to get out the purple. Do a little of that purple in a couple of places. I'm just trying to make sure that All right, and then I want to add color back in in a couple places.
Okay. I know it's some of that color. Since I had a drip run, I might as well let some of that. run in there and then do the same thing and then kind of take it down in there. I don't want it in there. But it's definitely got shimmer. It's going to be hard to see on the camera. But you can see little places where the magical is. The Lindy's. Especially that um, teal. It just sparkles. And I think I'm going to go ahead and add in some sketch lines. Okay, sign it again on the side. And this one I decided yesterday, I'm going to name after Jilly. Hi, Effie. 
And hi, Terry, by the way. All right, so let me take the tape off. Let me turn on the heat gun real quick. All right. This needs a little highlight in its eye. I'm pleased with how the crayon worked. I really like that technique. I like the shimmer that the magicals added. I said, I don't, that's going to be hard to see on camera. I can get it. You can see right here, there's some. And then over here. The only place I don't like the powders is right in here a little bit. Um, I probably will not matter with this light mat because it's too, I mean, you could. It's just a little small. I need a slightly larger mat. But I look, I think she looks, you know. Not bad. All right, so I'm going to put that aside, and we have a little more. We've only been on an hour. So um, I had a color combination of alcohol ink, so I can play with that. So put that aside to dry 
take a picture of it later. I think the elephant would be cute with collage too, like Lena did hers. You could do some collage. All right, so I'm going to take a piece of 12 by 12. And I'm going to play with uh, getting more. Uh, Ranger tends to have colors within colors. So I'm going to work with um, pink sherbet, which is kind of like a rosewood color. And the cool periwinkle, because if you have it, use it. And I'm going to go with. The pitch black and maybe one of the browns. Maybe the, a little of the espresso. I'm not sure. brushes up or I lose them. All right, so the 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 main thing is gonna be about really kind of separating the inks. And playing with the alcohol to get what colors you can get to come out of the black and the brown. All right, so let me stop for a minute and kind of hold this up. This is just one color. And you can see there's brown and blues coming out of that black. 
It's one of the advantage to the Ranger products is they do tend to have undertone colors. Okay, let's see where we want to go next. I'm going to turn it. So, so far, all I've just used is one color and alcohol. All right, I'm going to switch to the air gun. I like the soft and the hard on this side. Yeah, I love that you find colors in one bottle. But it is important to swatch. Because of that. Okay. I'm just trying to decide where I want my soft, where I want my hard, and I think I need some dark connected back in here. So I think I like the composition of that. Now let's see if we want to add some. I like the, some of these negative white spots in here. Hi, CB. Okay, so I'm going to get some pink kind of in here. I want to get just, a, I'm using this to get just a little more rose in some areas.
Okay, they got some of that purple tone. In a few places, I think I'm gonna put that up. Like a flower, to me, it reminds me of like a cloud or silk. I think the next thing I need is some um, pinata brass. I'm going to add some alcohol to that so I can shatter it. Like that just needs just need to go in areas, little areas at a time. And I'll give a rose gold color to that pink. Thank you. 
Okay. And I'm going to bring some of that periwinkle in here, I think. Let's take an alcohol ink pad and see if there's any areas we want to clean up. Hey, Doc. I'm not using any of the brown. There was enough brown in that black. Okay, I'm going to come over here. There's some. This needs to be cleaned and softened. I'm going to come over here. And my air gun shut down again today. That is not a good sign. But I need to add more alcohol to this.
Yeah, I really uh, saw I saw someone else do something similar. I thought, oh, I want to try that. Well, that's better. Hi, Lena. All right. It's really hard to do this. Thank you, Lena. This needs more work. Now I'm tempted. I don't mind those dots. I didn't like them outside. Just to break it up and give it some shape.
I think I kind of like that, just as it is. I mean, if I hold it up, you can see how there's blues and kind of peachy browns. And for the most part, it's one color. I think I want to add a little of this periwinkle down here. With a little bit of that rosewood. Okay. Keep knocking that over. I need a new wipe. Soften that just a little bit. Easier not to get lines with the uh, heat gun. I mean, with the air pre compressor. So I don't really know where I want to sign it. I don't know. To me, it's... I 
how you hang it would be kind of up to the viewer. So I'm gonna sign it in a very Do we like it one way? I kind of like the dark coming down. This way, best. The dark like kind of coming down. I'm going to sort of put it right in there. And then all I have to do is spray it. The brass stuff is really sticky. It's like getting lacquer. Out. I don't like the copper. I like the gold. And the brass. Um, supposedly they've reformulated the silver. I haven't gotten the new pinatas. How do you like them, Eileen? I want them. I just don't want to. Pay shipping to get them from. Joggles. And Amazon has the Exciter pack, but it's like $50 and has colors I already have in it. So it's a good deal if you have only the first pack and you don't have the brass and you don't have the copper. Or you don't have the white. I don't use the white a lot. Some people do. Again, it's real sticky. I guess that's probably about it for me, girls. Hi, Sophia. So for those of you who came in late, this was what we did earlier in the stream. We watercolored and put magicals on an elephant. And then we just played with alcohol ink, and this was just pitch black. No, I don't have any of the pearls. They don't move very well. Um, from what I understand. And my favorite thing is to make them wisp. So I haven't gotten any. I was going to get them.
You like this one best, CB? I think I like the ink one better, but uh, don't know if she'll come in, but we'll see if y'all see. Let's see if she'll come in. Tay Tay. Is she in there? Okay. Hey, hey. Can you tell me Okay. She may be a little iffy, iffy. She's like, I was napping, Mom. Oh, I named uh, one after Iffy, and I named the other one Jilly. Tay 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 Tay. She was like, I was taking a nap, Mom. Roll over and show your tummy to him. Oh, do you gonna show your tummy to the girls? <laughs> she was in a room laying down. She was tired of bossing the others around. She'd been giving Bubba what for and giving Dad the death stare. Because she wanted snacks. Say hi, Shauna, if you're watching. Hope you're feeling better. We miss you. I'm going to say hi to Aunt Shauna. Oh, this one is a snack monster. Yeah, you even heard the word snack, didn't you? She thinks she might hear a can. Um, I might have to go, ladies and gentlemen. There might be a can being cracked. She's got to check it all out. Yeah, she does. She is a, oh, she's a pretty girl. I'm a pretty girl. Look at me. Aren't I cute? That's what she does every morning. Is roll over and show you her tummy like. She thinks she's a dog. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I'll see y'all next weekend. If I stream on Saturday, it'll be an impromptu. This is still not turning on. Nope, now it's back on. It seems to shut off. I had to pull the plug and plug it back in. Maybe it trips. Oh, that's weird, Dot. Now I didn't tweet it. Um, I just came on when I said I was going to be on today, but I didn't tweet it. 
I should have gone in and done it like a reminder ahead of time. Win at Beth's. Xander will be on later today, but Beth won't be on today. Um, I'll probably stop by Tuesday, but I don't, I won't. And then Friday at Colleen's. I'll see everybody at Xander's today. Next week, I'll probably go in and do that, Dottie. Is go in and put it like 30 minutes before, like it's going to be on. Thanks, Joy. Bye-bye. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. And I'll see you at Xandra's later. She should be on at it's 5 Eastern for my time, I think. I'm sure she'll have some things to show us from the class and the show. Bye-bye.